In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this really awesome 3D drop shadow text effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and we have a brand new sequence created, we first want to begin by going up to File, New, and scrolling down to a legacy title. And we can just press OK on this. And then inside of the legacy title window, we want to type out a word of your choice. So we'll select anywhere in this safe zone here. And we can just type out a word of your choice. So I'm going to do wow. We'll change the font. We'll make this nice and bold. We'll increase the size of this, make this quite big. And then we'll center that up by using these two center buttons and we'll exit the legacy title window and drag that title onto your sequence. From here, we're gonna go into effects and we're going to search for drop shadow. So the drop shadow effect should be in perspective, but if it's not, then you can always just search for it like I did. We'll drop that onto our title and this is where the magic begins. Now, by default, the background of your video inside of Adobe Premiere Pro will be black. And unfortunately, the default color of the shadow color is also black. And this means if we want to see the effect, we're going to have to change the color. So in Drop Shadow, we'll go to Shadow Color. We'll select the black box and we'll go down to a color of our choice. So I'm going to select a blue. I'll select this blue here. We'll press OK. And now we just want to go and check the other settings. Now you want to make sure that your opacity is set to 100%. You want to make sure that the direction is set to 135. And then when you come down to distance, you want to make sure that it's set to zero. Now pull your cursor to the very beginning to zero seconds exactly. And we'll create a brand new keyframe. So we'll select that stopwatch icon there. Now we'll move to two seconds in. And we're going to create a brand new keyframe by changing zero to two. There we go. And if we play this back, you can't really see a lot happening at the moment, unfortunately. But that's where we can go ahead and we can copy the drop shadow effect and change a few settings to really exaggerate this effect. So we're going to select drop shadow. We'll hold command C or control C to copy and then command V or control V to paste. Now we're going to change the value of this second number here and we're going to change this to four. So we're duplicating. Now we're going to do that again. Command C, Command V, we're going to go down and we're going to change this from four to six, adding another two. And we'll keep repeating this process over and over and over again until you've got the effect looking the way you want it to look. Now, if we play that back from the very beginning, you can see we've got this really cool 3D text animation effect happening. But if that was a little bit too slow for you, then that's completely fine. You just want to select all of these end keyframes so just highlight all of these end keyframes and we'll just pull those in. Now, if you decrease the gap between the keyframes, that's going to make the animation quicker, as you can see. But if you want that to be slower, then you just increase the gap and that's going to take longer to get to that point. Now, there's one more thing that you can do to really style this out, and that is to select all of your keyframes. So you want to select all of your direction keyframes, right click onto one of them and select ease in. This is your keyframe interpolation. And this basically means it's going to slowly accelerate into the animation rather than just suddenly starting. It looks a lot more fluid and it looks a lot better. So if we play this back, you can see we've got this really awesome text animation happening right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.